All right, so we're going to try to add uh, this hero slider to our website. And so this is going to be basically the first part of that. And I'm not really sure exactly how many parts there will be. Um, but basically what we're going to do is uh, this in this one, we're going to focus on getting just the front end portion working uh, before we worry about creating the back end and then also connecting the two, right? So that's basically what this one's gonna be about. So this is our main homepage that we've built in previous uh, episodes. And now we're gonna try to add this hero slider in. So let's get started. All right, so I've already downloaded the hero slider and you can get that from here basically. And I will put this, I'll, I'll put the, there's an article I think about this somewhere and I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, but basically, it's uh, that's the the hero slider. That's where I've got it from. So here's what we got. Uh, let's assess real quick. We got this index.html, which is basically the page we were just looking at. Uh, this is the code for it. We got some assets, which looks like the images, the video. I guess one of them has a video. Uh, it's the CSS files, JS files, and some extra CSS CSS files. So in order to incorporate this, uh, we're essentially gonna have to either we can either add it directly to the home page, uh, but let's imagine, let's think about like if this was like a live site and you wanted to be able to push these things up, you might want to just create a new kind of test page to get this going before you actually like mess with your package, right? Or mess with your site. So I think we should go that route, add on to the main menu. So we're gonna add one here. All right, so we got gallery. Oh, this is the URL, so I guess it's gonna be lowercase. I don't know if it really matters that much. All right, and then we wanna move this up so that's in order of that. We come back to our uh, site. All right, so we got this, we click it. Of course, it's not gonna work because uh, uh, we would not expect that to work. So why is that not working? Uh, invalid argument, so it's view gallery is not found. And that is because if we uh, look at this route, right, which should be gallery, it's gonna come here. It's gonna be the first one that matches, gets sent to show. I have a feeling we'll be getting here, All right? So we'll verify that, yep. But if we try to go here, we still get there, okay. So I wonder what's in page at this point. Is there a, it's null, okay. So somewhere in the in the, um, in the view is uh, let's see it's I guess there it's looking for show and somewhere in here it's trying to access it okay so yeah right so it should still be getting here all right and then uh, what. All right, so is this, let me see here. Let me do a uh, real quick. Oops, might help if I spelled things correctly or if I got these in the right order. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Let's see, ah, all right. Artisan view clear. Let's see. Does that do anything? Doesn't do anything. Clean page show. Clean page show. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just there's. Ah, okay. So that that's all was happening. All right. So this hap This is happening before. Um. So we really should really should probably put in a check here that says, uh, you know. I guess we could do it like this too. We could do if page, right? And then we want to move that up in there. And that's basically saying, if we have a page, we want to go ahead and return it. Else, uh, what would we want to return? Uh, and we could return essentially what? An abort 404. Does that work? All right. So is this actually here? Let's see. Okay, so yeah. So I guess is the is there no four oh four? I thought I had made one of those. Uh, 
I guess not. Um, let's see. I wonder. I think I did, but I wonder maybe it didn't make it into this. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Well, let's not worry about it right now. I think that's true. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. All right, so whatever. So we're basically, let's not even worry about that. So if we have one, so let's try to go to about, which should be a one that exists, right? Okay, so we get that. So now gallery is completely erring. All right, I guess. All right, so if we say return abort 404, at least you get, <clears throat> you get some feedback. So let's leave that in, I guess. Okay, so we're not going to save that. We're not worried about showing the 404. This is about trying to get that slideshow in there. So right now it's saying that it can't find that, and therefore we're getting a 404, which we just made, which is great. So now basically what we want to do is a think okay so that's going to go to there now see we don't necessarily want this to go to just the standard pages controller so i think we should create a new route we'll call it uh, gallery and we'll just call this we could call this pages controller at gallery let's call that that works all right, so then if we come in here, we'll add this. Oops, all right. And return view theme uh, gallery dot show. Of course, that should give us an error saying that's not found. So we will create that now. And we'll say show.blade.php. And just so we know that this is there. All right, so there's our gallery. Now it's gonna be pretty similar. So let's start out by copying uh, this about page. And then we can real quick change it up so that we know we're on the right page and stuff like that. Um, let's see, slideshow should be here, something like that. Just so we have a, okay. So we can tell the difference basically between what page we're on. That's really what I was trying to do there. All right, so we got a page set up. Uh, we're not really worried about this content. I'm thinking that mostly it's gonna go right in this big header section like we kind of already have. So uh, let's look at the hero slider and how it's working, right? So if we go back to here, this is kind of like our, it's very similar to like our little name logo thing over here and navigation, and they've got a uh, kind of a logo type thing and some navigation over here, and then there are sliders behind it, and then there's this little kind of navigation between them, right? So if we look here, right, this is their little header, and you can see it's got the logo and then their navigation. So we don't really wanna probably copy that over at all. And basically then we can see that they've got this section, which is like the hero, hero slider, autoplay, uh, then we got the different slides, which is the class of selected, right? Um, another slide, uh, some more slide. This one's a video, I would say. Another slide, and then we got the slider nav. So if I'm guessing, we probably just want to copy all of this over to here, and then we might just replace it. But let's for right now just put this below so we can kind of see this build a little bit over time and maybe we can see what's going on a little bit easier. All right, so there's all that. Now, of course, that's not gonna work because we don't have the JavaScript, the CSS, the images, none of that stuff's in there. So we gotta have to bring that over, right? So uh, if we look at index.html, they got two JavaScript files, and then there's, I think, some CSS, right? Okay. So, all right, so what are we doing here? So this is, it looks like it uses its own reset, which could cause some problems with uh, our own. 
Uh, so why don't we copy style that see it or can we duplicate this to somewhere? I guess we just, okay. So I just had the uh, wrong path. And so I just had to figure that out. And uh, so now I'm back and now we have it copied over into our public CSS and then we have our slider styles. Okay. So that's step one. Now we'll need to uh, somehow load those slider styles into our um, HTML, right? So I can't remember off the top of my head if the layouts has a place to put CSS in or not. Uh, does not look like it. So what we can do uh, just to kind of get this working as quickly as possible Let's see, link CSS, yeah, that should work. We're gonna go CSS, slider, styles.css, I think. And let's see, we can reload that. Did that change anything? No, not necessarily, but let's see here. We'll turn off this, all right. So is that, okay, so we got some errors. Slider styles is not quite loading. And why is that public CSS slider style? Okay, well, that's might be one. All right, well, there's a little bit better right there immediately. Okay, so I'm guessing because it doesn't have the reset, which is why it's getting these kind of not quite right styles. So that's one thing. All right, so now we can copy the reset to where we need it to be. All right, so we'll duplicate that. It's going to be that. We'll call this screencasts explore public CSS. And then I'm going to name this one slider reset uh, just so that it doesn't conflict. Uh, but we may end up, we'll have to, we'll, we'll just load it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Slider reset. Give this another fresh. All right. So. Sliders getting there. Uh, looks like some of these buttons get affected by either the reset or the styles of the slider. So that may be tricky to figure out. But right now we're focusing on just getting the slider in there and then we can worry about all that other stuff. All right. So what are some things that are missing immediately, right? Well, these little icons aren't there. There's no images in the backgrounds of any of this stuff. So let's go ahead and try to get these in there. Uh, let's see what we got going on. All right, so, okay. So this might be one of those situations where we need to duplicate this whole folder so that the paths are correct into our current uh, project. So screencast, this is my path. Yours will obviously be different. Explore public, right? So we'll do that. That should duplicate those over. If we come back here, all right, so we got those. That's working. Nice. Uh, of course, that's not going to work. And let's see. So, what else we got to do? Now we got to get some JavaScript going. So, this is going to be the main. Let's go ahead and duplicate that to our project. Screencasts explore public JS. All right. Now this one, let's see. I guess we don't we don't need that open. That that probably don't need that one open anymore. Uh we probably don't need that open anymore. Try not that. Okay, so we're good here. And this is our, yeah, gallery, right? Okay, so we want to get that main JS file into our, um, it needs to be loaded basically after jQuery, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the layout for right now. Uh, and then we may end up having to change that later, but we'll see, we'll get, it. let's try it, like I said, I'm focusing on getting it working uh, and then go from there. All right. All right. So looks like the images are working. 
the slider is working. All right, so now we need to kind of get uh, reconcile these two, right? We don't necessarily need both of those. So we'll hop back over here, and what do we need to get rid of? So if we just get rid of the header, let's see what that looks like. All right, so we've already got now our... Uh, Cool, that works pretty well with our stuff out of the gate. And so that's not bad. And, oh, wow. That works pretty perfectly. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, this messes with a lot of the styles, right? So if we come down here, this is how the footer should look. But these uh, styles of this are kind of taken over where this button are these buttons are red or pink, whatever you want to call that. The font is different, uh, so there's quite a bit of styles that are different here. Uh, maybe that'll be the next episode. Maybe this is probably a good place to stop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got it working. It's pretty much there, but now we got to do a little bit of cleanup, and that might be the next episode. All right, so yeah, I'm going to edit this down uh, and stay tuned.